today we are closing the door yes we welcome are. back to NEMT van talks i'm jasmine and i'm monica it's been four years you guys and they said we wouldn't make it through our first year in business yes but we have four years later and guess what today we close the door but if you haven't already please like subscribe and share this video so being in business has not been the easiest thing to do but we have been able to successfully sustain our business let's talk about some of the challenges we face yes like you know what <clears throat> being in business, business four years like you mentioned jasmine they say we wouldn't make it past the first right um they question us going into business together do you want to go into business with a partner but girl four years and we're still going strong we did it we did, we it, did girl. it and we have so much more to accomplish but like you said some of the things that we experienced that we had to face how do we balance business family friends our personal life and managing a business like that's Ooh, been hard it's been really hard you guys so um i have to say like that has been a challenge for mm -hmm. me um, as being a single mother of two and you know running a business um, it's been hard like you know it's not as simple as like working a nine-to-five job wow. and you know at five o'clock you get home you prepare dinner and you know you spend time with your kids and then you know you prepare for the night and that's it but being in my particular situation like being a business owner there is no office hours mm -hmm. i mean i feel like you should have some type of limitations as to when you're gonna cut off or cut your task off um you know for the day but honestly i'm so wrapped up in my work and i'm just such a perfectionist that i want to make sure that i'm doing everything right and so I, and she is totally true and i think for me the struggle has just been like how do i find time for myself and my husband um making sure that you know i'm still spending time with with my husband and not overlooking you know my marriage um so that's been a challenge but we we're, we're figuring it out like you I'll know i'll be sending her emails at like 10 p.m 11 p.m and she don't get a respond <laughs> She's <laughs> sometimes I do don't friend okay <laughs> yes yeah, she yes yeah, she's up way hours of the night like doing research which is great but it is critical that you do still find a time to balance all of that stuff out right because we do have families and we need to make sure that we're prioritizing everything and I'm, I'm working on that I, I can't say yeah she is I mean her kids may say different but <laughs> <laughs> her oldest in particular um <laughs> But yeah, so what else? What else do we? Um, but you know what? I kind of want to take it back. I want to take it back to okay. some of the, the like in-depth, like things that we questioned, the things that we were just, you know, that kept us up at night. Yeah. And I do want to bring up this particular subject and it could be a touchy subject for, okay. Okay. for a few, but I just want i want you guys to know that we keep it real and we share our thoughts and our feelings mm -hmm. and our trials and tribulations with come you guys. with it come on with it jasmine okay so when we were thinking about the design of our vehicle okay this is hard for me you guys <laughs> because oh i know where you're at going that time this. yes it was 2029 right i mean i'm sorry 2019 mm -hmm. and um Ooh. we were coming up with the design of our vehicle and I this was like okay we knew we wanted to put a picture on our vehicle a picture of people right and oh come on come on you, you, I don't know how to say so, it because I don't I don't want to offend anybody we're but not I do keep we're, it real. we're not it, we're not gonna offend anyone so we we wanted to put a picture on our van and because the area in which we were initially starting to operate in um was predominantly caucasian uh asian yeah and they didn't so much accept our culture so we were trying to that's the pleasant way of saying that well no we can't say they didn't accept our culture well okay so they didn't okay i'll take that back 
So not saying that they didn't accept. There wasn't a lot of diversity there in our go. service area. There mm-hmm. wasn't a lot of diversity in our service area. So when it came to wrapping our vehicles, mm-hmm. we were unsure of, you know, Monica wanted to put a African-American elderly man and woman mm-hmm. on our vans. And you know Monica's from Georgia, like you know she's Southern Peach. I and I and I really wanted to, I wanted us to represent our business and our brand in a way. Um, and so yeah, I wanted to put people that look like us on our vehicles. Um, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not sure if that's the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's you know the bold thing to do. Or if, you know, I don't, I just didn't know how that would affect our business being in this particular neighborhood that wasn't very mm-hmm. diverse. Um, mm-hmm. I wasn't sure if people would frown upon it. I wasn't sure if we would, um, if we would be able to get clients yeah. riding around in this area with, you know, right. African American people on our vehicles. And that and was also, so hard and to, like, it was, it was hard for us to really ultimately make that decision and we honestly we received people saying like like what's up with y'all vans like who's on your vehicle but we did meet in the middle and if you look at the pictures on our van it's like it's two on one like it they do they don't look white or Caucasian and they don't look African American. It's in the middle. It's in between. They're yeah, light. I, I for me, a- when I get in my van, I I feel like they're a light skinned version. <laughs> A, like a lighter skin. We put what? What y'all think? We gonna put the picture right here. Uh, it's a it's a light skinned version of an African American individual, and so for me, that makes me feel okay with a little okay with the who's light skinned. Girl, girl, okay, <laughs> you guys. But we did what we felt it was best. But I just feel like it was so disheartening and so sad that we even have to question uh-huh. ourselves when it comes to this in this day and age, like yeah. and marketing your business and being your authentic self and just really like representing who you are. And so sharing that if we had to do it over again it would probably be different so yeah <laughs> but you know what this is this is four years later yeah. so it don't even matter <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll with it for now we'll roll with it for now <laughs> yeah i'm glad you shared that story because honestly i had i literally forgot about that but i'm glad you i know we had that talked was about a tough it one. it was a tough one it it, it did we, we had some some restless nights over that one because it was it was hard but they love us our customers love us like they they literally they don't see color yeah they don't see color they see you know smile a smiling face great service Mm -hmm. um likable women likable people like you know that's how we the people we try to hire so mm -hmm. yeah they you're right you know when we pull up or it's we're we're welcome with warm wishes so it's good we are all right what else all right you guys let's so um let's see what else what is this oh i know girl what? being in a male dominated industry Ooh. getting in contracts like just getting contracts in general like we we always have to show up differently you know because we're always judged different because this is a male dominating industry so we really have to come hard in this industry and it's like when you don't want to be a bulldog you gotta be a bulldog girl when do you not want to be a bulldog i mean i want to be so too what tell jasmine to keep it real with y'all leave her a comment i just want to be a bulldog y'all i want to be soft i want to be soft-spoken i want to be I want to be heard when I speak in my low calm voice. Now that's true. You want to be heard without having to be aggressive and assertive. Yes. Um, and you're right. I, I can see that. And sometimes we we do have to be more. I'm not going to say aggressive, but more assertive when mm-hmm. we're in those spaces um, mm-hmm. negotiating our contracts. Mm-hmm. Only because this is a male dominated industry, and they don't see us the same way. Mm-hmm. Um, and feel like we can get the job done so oh, yeah. and that's unfortunate but again don't underestimate your girls because we figure it out 
we make it happen okay i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell <laughs> girl, you girl we we came through some challenging situations so i know oh girl social media you guys you talk about so go ahead but we were not like social media people at all Mm-mm. so when figuring out how to market our business mm-hmm. and how to get the word out there oh my god we watched so many youtube videos we watched so many tiktoks mm-hmm. just trying to figure out how can we effectively um showcase our business mm-hmm. showcase our brand and so i mean even to this day it's still it's still a challenge and we're still, still figuring, yeah we're still figuring some things out um and then also too because we were so private we you know we were just private and so having to open up and share our world with so many people um was different for us mm-hmm. it was different for us oh and i want to say one thing too also when it came to knocking on doors yeah marketing our business you know i'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys um i got a message last week where the the lady was like i purchased your um your nemt call script Mm -hmm. and um you know i'm building up the courage i'm building up the courage to to yeah to make the phone call to call and talk about my business and i thought that was so special because I could completely relate. Uh-huh. We could completely yeah. relate to yeah. trying to build up the curse, but that's why we put that script together to give you guys the yeah. know-how of what to say mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and just kind of guide you through that phone call. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you don't go in there just completely not knowing what to say. So you, we wanted to make sure that you guys were put in the position where you can go into that phone call with confidence. Confidence, yeah. Um, but yeah, we didn't we didn't have no NEMT call script or nothing like that. I know. When we started, so you know, we we had to figure it out. Yeah. You yeah. know? We had to figure it out. We had to build a supportive network, you know, um, that to help us figure things out along the way. Like, you know, which I think was great too, like just these different events that we attend, like these different um events within the community, you know, just going out to to share information about our business. Um I met the I met the mayor, you guys. The mayor of your Belinda. I'm so sick of hearing this conversation about this mayor and rubbing elbows with them. If she sent me one more email about this. You know what? Talk about your business, y'all. <laughs> Talk about how you think we got here. Yeah. Four years. How you think we got here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because we talk about how you think these people, <gasps> our supporters, our followers, how you think they found oh us? Okay. Because we okay. Were about, okay, okay, okay. We we're talking about, talking about our okay. business. Okay, I get it. We were talking about our business. Yes. Whatever. You have to. You do. You do. I agree. Okay. So what else did we? Um, we just been oh, four years feels good though. Like it do, it feels great. But I do, I do want to point out, you guys, because um, when we're going into these networking events and we're we were meeting people when we first started mm-hmm. out, um, we would go into some of these places and not feel welcomed by other women. Oh. Um, and you experienced that recently right yeah, yeah yeah i did it it and it almost felt like here i am smiling you know ready to you know rub elbows shake hands with these women and they weren't really yeah. ready to do the same with me but why do you think that is though i think because we as women has have always been programmed to compete compete against one another i'm better than you you think you're better than me like and i think that's that all starts i mean because even with my daughter like she's eight and i see that i see like the girls the cattiness mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. and so i think you know we're conditioned to think that way and feel like we have to compete with one another instead of being like let me see let me introduce myself to my sister or my brother and like just network and not look at it as a competition mm-hmm. or i'm better than her or you know i'm competing against her right yeah and i think that's that's why it's so special that we formed women in transportation, women in transportation. the facebook group um because um it's a sisterhood mm-hmm. like we wanted to create a space where we could all network and mm-hmm. we could all build relationships yeah. and 
you know, I think it's it's almost like a safe space. Like, it's a state. It is. It's a safe space for women to be vulnerable and to really have someone that you can, you know, reach out to and 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 just to share whatever. And it doesn't even have to be just about stuff and transportation, but just like. Hey, hey, sister, have a good day today. Like, let me give you some encouraging words to motivate you today. Because I think we need that. We mm-hmm. need we need to uplift one another. But mm-hmm. absolutely. And I'm just so excited about the things that, you know, that we have yeah. um, planned down the line mm-hmm. for the women that are part of that group. Mm-hmm. You guys, so if you're not a part of our women in transportation mm-hmm. group, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link below. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and request um, to join our Facebook group. And um, let's get those conversations going. Let's yeah. let's talk about the future. Let's talk about how we as women can work together, partner together, to um, to to just continue to live out mm-hmm. our dreams, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. While supporting one another. Mm-hmm. But um, also, you know, we love our men too. So we're not leaving you guys leave out. Guys out. <laughs> but um, this is our space. Yeah, our space you know, for us ladies to connect. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yes. So we need you guys to join us on this waves. We are celebrating yes. four years in business. So we are going to put all of our apparel on, on sale. sale. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and leave the link down in the bio. Go ahead, join the Entrepreneur Club. Yes. But we also have some other great um, items on our website as well um, for sale, like our Women in Transportation yes, shirts, women transportation. our female CEO aesthetics. Yes, yes. <laughs> so take a look at all of the merchandise. I'm sure you can find something for yourself. So, yeah, or take a your, look at that. Or your partner. Yes. Or your partner, yeah. or your friend, <laughs> be grateful. Hey, you can even find some for your coworker. We got, we have coffee mugs. You know, there's something for everyone on our site. So absolutely. But you know what? Guess what? Today it stops here. Cause guess what we're doing? We're closing the door. the door on all that negativity. All that negativity. All the fear. Yes. All the self doubt. Oh, girl saying that we can't do it being afraid of failure because we have done it what and we are continuing oh, to do it what after how many years four years y'all mm-hmm. four years yes. like we're almost at that five year mark that five year mark and if we it, not if but when we make that five year mark mm-hmm. oh it's gonna be a celebration it is and we want you guys to be there with us right we want you guys to be there with us when we celebrate that five-year mark but today we're closing the door so i agree with you and it's so exciting because we are we are showing other people how to start this business how to get into this business and you guys we get so many comments like even on our youtube videos with people saying Mm-hmm. You know, why are you showing other people how to do the same exact thing that you're I doing? Know. And for us, it's about self fulfillment. Yes. Um, we've never been the stingy type or the type. I mean, because let's face it, these people can start this business with or without us. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. But we don't see it as competition because at the end of the day, there's still huge barriers in transportation, which means that there aren't enough NEMT companies out there. And not only that, your vision is different from our vision. Our vision is different from your vision. And there's so much money in this industry. There's so many different areas in this industry. Like, there's no need to be competitive with one another. Like, and that's the reason why we share it because Mm -hmm. there's so much room. Like, there's so much room to grow in this industry. There's no need to not share the information. Absolutely. You know? You know? Mm-hmm. I, I completely agree mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. So, you guys, we, um, if you are trying to get into this yes. industry and you're um, interested in joining our second class, mm-hmm. which is going to be held on May 12th. May 12th. At 5 p.m. Um, I'll leave that link below as well. Go ahead and register for yes. our 10 week program. Mm-hmm. Um, our first class is doing amazing. Yes. Um, I can't wait to see them get to the finish line. I know. Oh my God. And it's we're going to continue to push them, continue yes. to provide them with the information they need. And we are just so excited to, you know, be able to share their success with you guys. Yeah. Soon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
but yeah you know we are examples of you know don't give up don't you know you will doubt yourself at times but trust in your decisions that Mm -hmm. you make um whether it be for your life or for your business um stay committed you know talk about your business talk about your business talk about your business (laughs) that is the only reason why we're here today that and having faith Faith. in the man above yes Um, come on and i and i do want to point this out too you guys because we have faced certain challenges in business where we felt like this isn't gonna work Mm, or oh yeah where we were doubting ourselves but we just prayed about it um monica and myself talked about it and you in every single experience we've been through even when we were struggling trying to figure it out god had already figured out like it had already worked itself out um and I'm so grateful for that too. Like I'm so grateful for the, the challenges that we did experience, but we were able to figure out, you know. We would have never thought that we would be coaching people on how to get into this industry. We would have never thought. We knew that we were going to provide transportation services, mm-hmm. but we didn't know that we would be touching people in such a positive way, yeah. leaving an impact on the people that we service yes yeah and i think that everything just comes full, full circle. circle um i'm excited about our brand our apparel yeah our sales are doing great this is actually one of our new designs the entrepreneur club mm-hmm. because while everyone isn't fit to hop into entrepreneurship mm-hmm there are a large majority of people that are and don't even know don't it. even know hadn't even tapped into it yet yeah that's true so you know for those people we want to encourage you to keep looking forward keep being creative mm-hmm. keep being creative keep educating yourself yes um it's so much information out here in the world um but if you guys ever need us if you you know if you if if you're ready to make that step into becoming an NEMT business mm-hmm. owner, we're here for you. And if you just you need need words of encouragement, we can get us that, up on yes, Instagram. Absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, our plates are full because we are continuing to grow our brand, but we're never too busy to say hi. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to know the steps that we took to grow this business, yes. take a look at our next video. Yeah. Enjoy this. <laughs>